that men can become women or women can become men. I don't. I think it's absolutely absurd. Now, just as absurd is the notion that men should participate in women's sports. But absurd or not, that's what's happening. And in the Olympic Games in Tokyo, the woke media is celebrating Laurel Hubbard taking part in the women's weightlifting contest. Hubbard claims to be a woman, but is in fact male and used to compete in men's weightlifting. Despite the obvious unfairness resulting from size difference between men and women, more and more men are taking part in women's sports. It's becoming quite common. There is a backlash against this, and many women are complaining, but they are being ignored. Now, even worse, they risk being criminalised. I spoke to someone recently who told me that being transphobic can and does result in a record of what's known as a non-crime hate incident. This means that the police make a record of something you've done, some apparent hate you've been guilty of, and this record can be made available to potential employers, for example. You might not even know you have committed a non-crime hate incident. The police have no duty to tell you. And being transphobic, by the way, simply means that you don't agree that men are women or women are men. That's enough to get you accused of hate and enough to result in an unofficial record of hate kept by the police, a record you may not even know about. There are over 120,000 such records already in the UK. The police and media seem less concerned, however, about an even more disturbing reality. Men who identify as women are now able to freely access women's dressing rooms, toilets, prisons, even refuges. And just as surely as night follows day, women and girls have been assaulted and raped by these men. Abhorrent images can be found on social media of men spying on women in private spaces and boasting about it. If women complain, as many have, the women are deemed to be the problem. Recently in the United States, for example, a fully naked male entered a women's sauna in Los Angeles, exposing himself to women and to children. When a group of people protested against this outside the sauna, Antifa turned up and assaulted them. Here in the UK, the Ministry of Justice claims that transgendered prisoners are raping women at a shocking rate. But still, housing males in women's prisons continues. Sexual assaults have also taken place in toilets and other enclosed places meant to keep women and girls safe. For Britain will bring an end to this. It is genuinely shocking that this is happening. We will end this Stasi-like practice of non-crime hate incidents, and all such records will be destroyed. Secondly, we will not allow men to enter women's sports contests, and they certainly won't be allowed in women's prisons or toilets or changing rooms or anywhere else that was intended to keep women safe from sexual predators. There are groups fighting this, so let's give them our support. But politically, For Britain is the only party to adopt these policies. Now, if we want to change this permanently and restore fairness, safety, free speech and sanity, then join us. Thank you for watching. If you would like to stay updated with all of our latest videos, please like the video below and subscribe to our channel. As you probably know, For Britain is shadow banned on most social media, so it's really important to like and share our videos in order to get our message out. Thanks again for helping us to fight back. Thanks again for helping us to bring back Britain.